Hey guys, it's Melissa. I am going to show you just a quick tutorial today on doing some word art in Illustrator. Um, we're going to write the word lemonade. I like doing this uh, tutorial with the word lemonade because it's summertime and everyone likes fresh lemonade. Um, we will play with the glyphs as I've already showed you how to kind of play around with changing some letters and whatnot. Let's see. And then after we get some of these things changed, it's just some kind of fun variations. Then we're going to go into Effect, Warp, and just choose Arc for now. Now you can play around with these different effects. They're all going to do something just a little bit different. I like this, how it kind of climbs up. Um, if you move this higher it'll climb up more lower not as drastic it can go the opposite way so let's just say we want it like this and then hit ok what you're going to do now is go to object rasterize and hit ok now we're going to trace it image trace ok expand so now it's traced our word art that we made. We're going to ungroup and we need to get rid of all the white. So if you click on any part of the white and go to select same fill color, it'll select all the white and just hit delete. And now you only have black left. So the same select, same fill color and hit command G to group them together. Now let's make this fit onto our mat. Of course, if we went to cut this file, these are way too thin. So let's just select it and do Object, Path, Offset Path. Hit OK. You can play with the numbers, whatever it needs to be. Whenever you're done offsetting it, you want to make sure that you hit the Unite button so it combines or merges or welds those two paths together. So if it's not quite thick enough for you, just go in and offset the path again. Maybe I'm going to do a .02 and see what that does. So that's way too thick. Now if you do something that you don't like and you want to go back, hit Command Z and it will take you back to where you were previously. So let's do Object, Path, Offset Path, and let's do .01 and see what this looks like. And that's not touching there, so it's okay with me. So I'm just going to select it all and hit Unite again. Okay, so we have the Lemonade part. Remember, we're holding on Shift when we stretch things out. Let's just make it say Fresh Squeezed. Oops, let's see if I can spell correctly. We have fresh squeeze lemonade and just say you go in here and you add a picture of like a lemon and maybe you put say we're gonna write like five cents sometimes you can look at your um, character map and see if it offers this of course has a dollar sign you could look through and see if it has The scent sign. Let me just see real fast. Okay, I don't think that this one actually comes with the scent sign unless I'm missing it somewhere, but I don't see it. But, um, put like May daily, whatever you want to put is fine. And let's just say we go through here. We can take these right here and use our align tool, align these towards the right, and then hit group so they're grouped. And then take this and align it towards the left and hit group and then stretch it all out. And this may make a better um, 
one second. A better longer file, rather, let's just say it's gonna be 24 inches. And then we'll go over here and grab our file, command copy, command B to paste it. And we'll just pull it here. Now, whenever we go to save this, you're going to file, save as, and you want to do an SVG, or you can do file, export as, and go to DXF. Whenever you're exporting as a DXF, make sure the outline text is selected. Okay guys, let me know how it goes.